How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play and today we are actually going to be doing something kind of different uh, from the past couple of episodes. I mean, the past couple of um, Factions episodes have been raids. There's been a tutorial on an obsidian farm. And now I kind of want to take another step back and actually show you guys how to build a very, very, very hard to find vault uh, for you guys here in the factions world. I, I've, I feel like someone's calling my name, but I'm not really sure if I'm just uh, hearing things over here. So uh, anyways, so guys, today, I'm, why am I in Vanish? Uh, let me figure that out why I'm in Vanish right there. It's probably because I just logged into the server. But anyways, today, we're going to teach you guys how to build a vault and a really, really hard to find vault. And um, I got this idea off of uh, Minecraft Abe. He's on God Squad. And basically, they had one of these bases or they raided one of these bases. And he was like, hey, Mark, this is a really, really good idea. You should make your next vault like this. So in yesterday's live stream, I think I accidentally showed the cords to this base. So I'm not really like 100% sure that I want to keep a lot of the valuable stuff in here like I'll, I'll keep some stuff in here if they happen to find it because obviously it is an unclaimed base but if they can't find this base uh, I'll end up keeping it and I'll continue to expand here using the tutorials and whatnot but what we're going to be making today is a sky vault now I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a sky vault and also how to find and locate a sky vault so there's this video this episode today is going to be like a two-parter the first part is going to be very 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 simple uh, it's really up to your uh, imagination, your design specifications on how you guys uh, want to do this. And I kind of also got this vault idea. If you guys remember about a week ago, I uploaded this video um, with the the ninja stealth raid. So basically, I, I raided a mob. I think it was either mob squad or an eclipse base that was in the sky base while one of their faction members was online. And I was being really, really sneaky about where I was uh, going, what I was placing, and what I was not claiming, and all that stuff. So this is kind of an extension of that. I kind of got the idea off of them, off of um, Vicolti and Mini Lightning and all of those people who normally play on uh, Factions Black. But first things first... What you're going to need for this actual vault is a ton of chests. So guys, you're going to need a ton of chests here. And I'm actually going to go to Warp Shop and show you guys how to make these chests really quickly. Uh, just so you guys kind of get the idea and get the feeling of how to how to make this. So, And then you're going to buy two stacks of oak woods here. And then you're going to uh, go ahead and make those into planks. And you do slash workbench. And then obviously you're going to make all of these into chests. So this vault is made out of fully just functional chests like you can store anything you want in it but it's very very hard to find this trade so now you make two stacks of chests like i did right here and then you're going to go upstairs to the top floor on uh factions black or whatever faction server you do play on and you're actually going to grab a bunch of uh tripwire is it tripwire hooks that i need i believe it's tripwire hooks right let me check let me check is it tripwire hooks? Yes, it is. Okay, so you're going to grab 64 tripwire hooks. So this is going to actually take a while. And why you need these two is so that you can actually make trap chests and normal chests stand right next to each other when it comes to placing them inside your sky vault. Now, it's very, very simple how and very, very easy how you can actually uh, make this sky vault. Um, it literally takes not even 15 minutes and it's really, really hard to find these. And the only way that I actually found the one that I will be raiding in this uh, next episode was because somebody sold me the cords and I paid them a good $5 million for my 32 million that I had in order to uh, actually uh, get this. So anyways, here we go. So we've got our trap chest here and we've got a stack of normal chests. I'm going to go to home vault. So I'm going to make my new vault of here, guys. So now... We're going to let the world render in for a second. It is nighttime. I'm going to do slash time day so I can uh, see exactly what's going on here. Now, guys, I'm not going to show my cords, obviously, but as you guys can see, I am super, super, super high in the clouds. Now, I'm going to jump down really quickly so I can kind of load the chunks that are below me uh, just to kind of show you guys how high I am. So this is where I decided to kind of uh, set my sky vault as let's go back to home vault. And if I take a quick look down, because I just wanted to jump down and load in the chunks, you guys can see that I am above in the overworld, about 200 or so blocks in the air. And I'm just literally in a random spot with no F claim on. Now, this is how you're going to simply start your base. You're going to start it with two chests here. And then, oh God, oh God, home vault. <laughs> You're going to start it with one chest like that, and then you're going to break that cobblestone. I obviously built up here using uh, using obsidian, but I broke it on my way back. So now all you have is this one chest. I'm going to set my home here, set home vault, 
and then I'm going to go ahead and start to place a little bit of a chest array. Now you guys know exactly what it is I am doing here. I'm basically making a quick vault layout of this base. Now guys, I know that a lot of you guys watch these videos. A lot of you guys watch my factions videos. So now I know exactly what to look for when I'm raiding in the sky, when I'm raiding in the net nether rock or what's it called in the overworld for these types of bases. So this is a really, really hard to find, um, I guess you could say a hard to find raid or a hard to find vault to raid, but obviously, uh, what you're going to be using this for is, is going to try to kind of decrease the chances that you're actually going to um, get found in uh, the overworld if you decide to make your base in the overworld. So I'm going to go to slash warp shop real quick and I'm going to work with some um, with some cobblestone because cobblestone is the easiest and the fastest to break down. So you're going to need obviously the chest that I have been placing and then you're going to need a building block of some sort to kind of um, base the rest of your design off on. So now I have uh, cobblestone so I can use that. And what I'm going to do, so I have the sky vault now. It's only going to be this this big. And obviously, guys, you could make this sky vault as big and as huge as you want. And how I'm, how big I'm going to make it, actually, is I'm going to make a little bit of an area here. Oh, no. Slash home vault. So I can't shift click. I can't shift on the edge of chest. So we're going to have to be very, very super, super careful when we're working uh, up here in the sky. Whoops, I placed this wrong. Come on, chest break. Uh, did that not break? All right, it broke. And then I'm going to place this here. Oh, this is wrong too. Oh my gosh, whatever. I'll just do that. It's fine. That works like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and put trap chests here like this. And now you guys can see that. Oh God, I keep falling off. I'm like shift click, but I'm not used to, I'm not used to, as you guys can see, I'm not used to working with a sky vault like this. And I'm kind of, uh, kind of keep falling off the edge over there, but not a really big deal. But you guys kind of get the aspect, the gist of what I, what it is I am making here, uh, today. And I should not have, I need an axe home base. Let me grab an axe real quickly for you guys. Uh, let's grab this one slash back. Grab this, and then I need a normal chest here, like so, and then a trap chest, and then a normal chest, and then a trap chest, and then a normal chest, and then a trap chest, and then a normal chest. <laughs> and there you go. So you guys can kind of see what it is I am getting at. Now, if you guys notice the Eclipse base that I rated a couple of weeks ago, they actually went really, really, really uh, super kind of design design oriented on their base, and they kind of made something like this. And what they did was they put like a trap chest here, and then they they did another block here like this. Let's see if I can get this there. Boom. And they made like a little staircase again. And then, and then they had another storage chest that kind of went this way. So it was like this. And then they went really, really, really super specific when it came to this chest. And I'm honestly making this so that you guys can kind of mess around with this and if you guys kind of want to make multiple levels if you guys kind of want to make like two or three levels like it's really up to you guys it's up to you guys however many levels however big your faction uh kind of needs in order to uh you know kind of be successful in uh, these sorts of uh chests and as you guys can see here it's very 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 space efficient i'm literally making this base like <coughs> excuse me this space hasn't even taken 10 minutes and I've already got like a higher upper level here. And then all I have to do here is kind of start off, um, let's put a normal chest here. And obviously you guys are going to need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of chests in order to actually make this um, fully, fully usable and in order to actually store a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just continue and finish off this wall and I'll probably end up finishing the rest of uh, this vault another time. And I've just seen a lot of people starting to make these uh, kind of um, vaults in the sky or this is kind of, this is also ap applicable or applicable. I can't, how do I say that? It's applicable, right? Yes, this is also applicable to obviously on top of the nether. You can make a base like this. I just decided to make one on in the overworld today just because I don't know. I just felt like making an overworld uh, little chest area for us today here. So as you guys can see, it's very very space efficient i'm using up the least amount of spaces as i can and i'm still being very very efficient about it and you can honestly store whatever it is that you would want to store um you know in these chests right here so these are trap chests so i need normal chests here actually oh that's a normal chest here too dang it um so yeah i didn't plan that very well so i can't put one on that level but i could i should be able to put one on this level like this like that so that's like boom and like this and then this could be like the next floor so i can start to kind of edge this out so then it's kind of um let's see let's see how we're gonna make this kind of like this way i guess 
Uh, let's see now this is so it does take some planning guys so if you guys kind of want to plan it out on a creative world and then you know kind of copy it on over like just just go back and forth from your creative world and back to your actual vault and I'm kind of just showing you guys the basic layout of it so I'm gonna make the rest of this obviously off camera I don't want to kind of bore you guys with the rest of this uh, little vault idea that I have here but this is kind of all you have to do just this is very very simple just a nice sky vault and leave it unclaimed guys it's very 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 hard to find an unclaimed sky vault like so and this has literally been used a lot of times in the past and it just uh, you know it decided I just wanted to kind of show you guys so the people who have been using this are kind of gonna get exposed and people will start to look in the specific manner and I will show you guys what exactly I mean so I'm gonna go slide back to uh, my home base and I'm gonna actually deposit uh, the chests and stuff that I've been using and I'm gonna grab uh, obsidian I'll just use obsidian because I have a ton of obsidian home all right, actually I can grab some from right here <clears throat> so let me grab a couple stacks of obsidian I've got golden apples I've got ender pearls and I'll go slash home raid three now somebody sold me these cords and I'm gonna show you exactly how I found or how you can find sky bases it's very very simple very very easy to actually find them but all it is is literally hitting the jackpot hitting the lucky oh I finally got the lucky plot numbers and this is kind of you can repeat this for different plots throughout the entire world until you hit that one lucky vault that has a lot of stuff in it. And I honestly don't even know uh, whose faction base is this. He just gave me the, the vaults or the cords to this uh, sky vault today. So we're going to go just build straight on up. It's somewhere around here. This is where he, uh, he TP'd me to. But anyway, so this is how I'm going to find the vault. Wow, this looks really, really similar to the area that I was just in. Except for that was a jungle. But see, as you guys can see here... <clears throat> Before we, uh, we continue to kind of build up, we're going to take a pause here, guys. So look around me. What do you guys notice? What do you guys notice? Real quick, real quick. What do you guys notice? It's in the water. And that is, the, the, you see that thing right there? That was like one of the dead giveaways. I saw like a really, really long uh, cobblestone patch. And then there was another really, really tall structure going that way. So I decided to kind of look around in this water area here. And obviously somebody found a raid. So look, there's a base over there even. But it's probably not even completed yet. Because uh, if I do slash F map on there. Oh, it is a base. It's the cheesy is over there. But anyways, so this is an unclaimed piece of land that I'm on right now. So what you're going to do is I tend to look in the oceans first because obviously a lot of people feel uh, like a sense of security when they're um, actually building above the ocean because, you know, there's a lot of oceans out there and it's really, really hard to kind of single out the one ocean where you can uh, find a vault. So what you're going to do is after you build up a stack, you're going to take a look up and see if anything renders in. Ooh, there's another base over there. That's probably rated already. But uh, we'll, we might take a peek at the end of the episode. We'll see exactly how, how uh, big this uh, vault raid is. But another thing uh, from a couple of video videos ago, I kind of showed you guys this trick. You do the F3A trick. Oh, no. I just fell. Oh, no. I got to build all the way back up. But if you guys do the F3A trick like I've been showing you guys in the past couple of videos, you guys can kind of uh, see if there's any underground vaults. So there, there's another trick that you guys can use. And then let's freaking build back up. God dang it. And then always, as always, as you guys are building up, take a look at, if you're in the ocean, take a look at the little poke holes that people are building on the actual gravel itself. So if you guys take a quick look. Uh, there's not really any gravel here, but over there, you guys can see over there with my Optifine, there's one block that's missing over there, and that's really, really fishy. So, I mean, if I had the time, I would go ahead and check if there was actually anything in that specific hole that's uh, being just randomly dug in the middle of gravel. So, who knows? There could be an unclaimed vault in that little poke hole over there so make sure you guys kind of take and remember all of these tips that I'm giving you because this is gonna help you guys find the raids help you guys find the really really expensive and hard to find uh, sky vaults and whatnot and before I fall off again I'm gonna set home raid 3 right here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue to build up so what I was talking about if you guys can take a quick look right over there there's one block missing so somebody could have dug under into the ground over there let's take another quick look around there's another one over here maybe another one over there and then there's a big hole that somebody could have just entered over there so there's a lot of possibilities when you're, you guys are kind of looking for these bases and looking uh, for these vaults to raid and it's really just however much time you kind of spend looking for the bases however much you will actually find looting so the more you look obviously the more you will find and it all depends on your luck so 
I'm not even sure if I got sold bogus cords. Maybe I did, and this is going to be really, really embarrassing. Uh, we're currently at Y169, so we're going to go. We're going to keep going up to like Y240, I guess, or Y230 until we see something. So we're above, we're above cloud level right now, but I still don't see anything. Another quick tip, guys: make sure your render distance is out, is on far. If your computer can handle the render distance being on far, make sure you guys check that out as well. So we're gonna go ahead and continue to build up. I am currently at Y almost 200. Oh, there it is. There's the vault. That is what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, this is very very easy to find these vaults as long as you kind of are really really lucky, and as long as you guys kind of just uh, play luck of the draw sort of thing so i'm gonna set home here before i fall off again set home raid three and then let's go ahead and put a block there so when i build up it'll displace me and put me over there so we're just gonna go ahead and continue to build straight on up over here and hopefully that this this vault isn't um empty or just starting out and we'll see kind of what kind of loots we'll kind of get from these sky vaults so i'm teaching you guys these tricks because i want you guys to also learn how to kind of find these sky vaults because obviously a lot of people are going to start to use these uh big sky vaults now due to them watching my videos or them already using it because they're in a huge faction that can't really afford to claim too much land and uh, i'm gonna eat a god apple so if somebody tps in they can't really uh mess around with me so we eat a god apple and let's go ahead and start looking through these chests all right we've got a lot of strength too right here i'm actually gonna grab these strength too i'm gonna do f map off i'm gonna go home new base and i'm actually gonna fill these two bottom chests here with uh strength two potions just so i have uh potions to kind of raid with whenever i need potions i, I know that there's already potions in this bottom chest so i'm gonna steal all these freaking potions right here guys oh my gosh all right we're gonna take all these potions right now and um there we go so let's take all these oh there's a bunch of speed potions here as well let's grab all these speed potions here slash back all right just keep on slash backing really guys that's all you gotta do right all you gotta do to get these raids and uh start looting is there anyone in here no all right so uh those are no random potions nothing in here efficiency fault four protection three don't really need those empty chest empty chest empty chest Oh, here we go. There's some swords here. Is there any sharp 10? Sharp 10, sharp 10. Nope, nope, nope. Bows. There's night bows in here. So it looks like this guy's a donator. Uh, it looks like he's either a prince or a pope donator by the looks of it. Or a knight donator even. He's got a lot of knight stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to grab all the axes. Ooh, these are efficiency 10 axes. Look at it. Efficiency 15. Very nice. I'm going to grab those axes because I need more axes. And I need... Ooh, enchanting bottles! grabbing all those enchants oh my gosh oh here's the mother load oh there's a bunch of spawners too let's grab these first uh cow spawner he's got one of everything all these diamond blocks i'll take um do i want this chain armor not really i'll probably just end up oh here we go emperor stuff let's grab this oh grab all this stuff home new base and now this is where my kind of my new base here is kind of going to come in handy so i already know where the enchanting bottles are so i can just go ahead and uh right click them into the chest like i do right here and a lot of you guys are asking in the videos how i'm quickly depositing all this stuff all you guys have to do is click shift and then uh hover an item click shift and then double click and it basically drops everything off into your actual um home base into your actual chest so let me go ahead and put these axes away so i don't forget to do them later <clears throat> oh gosh i have like a cough like a freaking stuck nose or whatever you guys call oh i forgot to set a home over there and i don't have any blocks oh my gosh i am failing right now let's go ahead and continue to grab let's grab two stacks of obsidian build back on over there i forgot to set a home on uh on top of that on top of the bedrock vault so we're gonna have to build up a little bit over here do, 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 do. let's get on over here and we are up again and let's just run on over and back into the vault let me set home here before i forget set home raid three and let's continue to loot so i don't think i'm going to take this because it is just protection for iron which is not really useful in op factions really uh, oh there's more diamond stuff here let's grab all those uh all sharp six sharp ten nothing really arrows nothing nothing protection six i'm gonna take these print stuff protection six nothing really am i missing something you guys are gonna end up in the comment section saying that i missed something really really good so i'm gonna actually go through all these chests oh very very carefully look at all this stuff 
These are print stuff, protection 5, protection 10, getting a little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to put this in my new vault. Home vault. Here's my new vault. I'm going to go ahead and start to store everything in here. Oh my gosh, just moving stuff from one Sky Vault to another. So yeah, it looks like these guys were Prince donators because uh, obviously they have a lot of Prince stuff. Uh, let's see what else we can find in here. Where's that chest with all that armor? Oh, he's he's got a bunch of Pope armor too with Protection 10 on it. Nice. Oh, this is looking freaking beautiful. Very, very good raid so far. We've got a nice double chest here again. This is Protection 4. I don't really want that. Uh, that's empty. More potions here. Potion. Oh, freaking not even broken armor. I'm grabbing all these home, uh, vault. So let's put them into my new vault here. Set home vault. So let me go ahead and set home just so I'm not looking at the ground when I set my home there. Oh, look at all this beautiful double. I just got a double chest of freaking OP armor right there. Let's go ahead and see if we can fill up another one slash back. And let's go ahead and continue to loot all this stuff right here. Let's see if there's anything here. Nothing. 45 diamonds. Oh, I'm going to grab that flint because I need that for raiding. I don't really need any of these uh, low-level sword. Oh, look at this. How does it have all these enchantments? What the heck? I'm grabbing that sword for sure just because it looks freaking cool. All right, nothing in here, nothing in there that's worth taking. Diamond blocks, I'll take those. Obsidian, baby. All right, let's take a oh TNT. I'm gonna grab that TNT chest. So I'm gonna do a quick little overview TNT obsidian, and we're back to the start. Is there anything in the floor? There's unenchanted diamond. So we're gonna grab that TNT, and then I think that we are good to finish uh, the raid at that point. So we'll go ahead and uh, drop off the armor here, and we'll go slash home new base. We'll drop off our obsidian here in our chest over here. Uh, boom! Are these all full? What the heck? All right, and then uh, we'll we'll put the random stuff in these chests right over here like so boom and this is how organized I am I kind of already know where I'm gonna be storing stuff and uh, it kind of makes it very easy like it makes my life a lot easier when I'm uh, looking for uh, specific stuff to raid and specific stuff to actually get so I'm gonna go home new base and I know that the TNT is in the second row here and that is perfect. Look at that. That's how fast I can raid and how fast I can store stuff, guys. And that is the main reason why I want you guys to kind of try to keep your bases organized. So that, you know, you kind of know exactly what it is you're, you're, you're going to do and where it is you're going to be storing stuff and all that good shenanigans. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this raid off of camera. And actually, before I do that, let me actually do this on camera. I want to take two stacks of TNT right here. And I'm going to take a flint and steel home base. Let me grab my flint and... Oh, I'd say my E-chest. My trusty Unbreaking 20 flint and steel right here. You guys told me to enchant this. And, uh, you know, I'll show you guys exactly how I did this. I'm going to go to Warp Shop. I'm going to enchant another one for you guys here. You go to Warp Shop on the OP Faction servers and you can get an Unbreaking 20 on your flint and steel. So I'm going to go slash Home Raid 3. And let's go ahead and just blow this entire joint up. Here we go. We're just going to blow everything up. Nothing is going to be saved. We don't want them to have anything. We found their vault, and we're going to make them suffer. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and jump up here, make sure that everything has at least a little bit of TNT on it. I'm pretty sure this is enough. And then I'm just going to go ahead and light this whole baby up. All right, let's just hop over here so we can kind of see what blows up and if we miss anything. Toggle, downfall. Oh, no, I got knocked off. Home raid to three. Oh, it's back down here. All right, I think we got everything. Let's see if we actually see any of the items start to fall. I'm not even sure if it will show. Uh, yeah, but that's it for today's raid, guys. I Hopefully, you guys learned something new about making vaults and finding vaults and uh, raiding your own vaults and whatnot. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's Factions Let's Play episode. It's a little bit slower than usual, but I did want to kind of go through another tutorial, another raid for you guys today. And uh, yeah, hopefully if you guys did enjoy, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys smash that like button for us because it does so show support for the series. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is D Field, and as always, we will see you guys later.